Yo, what's up guys? Bobby here and today we have another great video for you guys. So yesterday we had the semifinals of the NA Open. We faced Keith, Brunick, and Alec. You know, you guys have seen them a bunch of times on the channel. I face them all the time competitively. They're good players, but last time we did get the best of them. And now we have the finals against Nova, the team that we defeated in the semis the first week and the team that we actually lost to in the finals last week. Yeah, yes, I know we did suffer a loss. You know, we could make a, a few excuses, you know, uh, Squashy, who was our teammate for week two, was just had terrible Wi-Fi. Like, he was literally in a farm. We were able to hear goats and roosters, but, you know, not an excuse. GG's to Nova. They played really, really well. We didn't, so they got that dub. We're facing them again, and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to have a dual VC. We're going to be in VC with my teammate OG during these games. Now, as you guys know, Squashy is subbed out because his Wi-Fi just wasn't good enough to participate. We're playing with Jack Chepo now, which you guys know because he's usually my teammate for most events. We play under the Omen name organization. And one other thing I wanted to say before we started the video is that you guys all the time in the comments ask, where can I watch this live? Is this on Twitch? Is this on YouTube? How do I stay up to date? Blah, blah, blah. So what I have for you guys down below is my Twitter, my Instagram, everything that you guys need to stay up to date with what I'm doing, what I'm playing competitively, live updates, etc. I'm always tweeting about the stuff that I'm currently playing live in. Last week before the event started, I made sure I tweeted out. So if you guys want to see this stuff live or if you guys just want to help support me in any way you can, make sure you give both of those a follow. Specifically the Twitter I'm way more active on. I'm working on getting more active on the Instagram. But it would both mean a lot, and I would thank you guys for it. So let's go. Let's hop into a VC right here with OG, and let's get that first game started. All right, guys. So you can see it's the same maps as last week, and surprise, surprise, we're using comp. Obviously, the Rosa Meadow is still in effect. So let's see how we do. Right. So we didn't say this. We actually did get a tie on this map the first time. We're not going to include it in the video today just because we don't want it to be too long. We don't want it to take up all the time. But yeah, it's our second time playing the map as we tied the first game with the exact same comps. Yeah, so you'll see I'm kind of sneaking around here. I managed to hire a star, um, but I am pretty far up in their base. And, you know, look at that spawn. It's like right on top of me. So I'm just trying to run away, but I can't make it out, unfortunately. Right. Now, Chepo's going to be able to go in and get a kill. I'm really surprised Tyrant actually didn't pull us because we were both right in front of him. But we were able to run away, and now we have the one uh, star lead. Now, I did kind of have a random pull, just hoping someone was there. Wasn't able to hit it, so I'm just going to be charging my super basically for, the, for a little bit longer. Yeah, so one of our downfalls last week was getting like, too crowded in the back of our base, so we're trying to like be more mobile this week. Um, you saw that was a good exchange for us. Um, I managed to get a double suck when they pulled us too. And here we don't want to trap ourselves on the back of the base. So we're like, yo, okay, let's find a side to move up on. Like that side's broken up a bit. And then we actually get the engage on Shadow. Unfortunately, Bobby does get pulled though. Exactly. So OG's able to get a good uh, pull over there on Portal. Now this was a really good finish. He went up really, really aggressive on him. And although he did get down, you know, it was a, it was a good trade and it helped us get position. Uh, we're up two right here and they only have one entrance point to the right. So in, in the VC when we were playing at the time, OG's telling me to get on the right side so I can just spam that entrance point and make sure that they're not coming on us and we won't be surprised. Yeah, so the late game, there's definitely less grass and you can see they kind of all group up. Bobby does get taken out, but we got a Rosa there with Super, and he goes right for Tyrant Star, which is exactly like what you want to do. And then you'll see Jack being Jack. Yeah, it just spins, you know, Jack being his, his, his typical self, you know, not caring about if we win or lose, but making sure he gets that BM in. And yeah, it's going to yeah. be the end of the first game over there, and we're able to get that dub. Okay, so here we go into our second bounty game, and what we're going to be doing on this map is going with all of our strikes. So I'm going to be playing Gene, which is arguably one of my best brawlers. OG, obviously, as you guys know, is an insane piper, so he's going to be going on that piper, trying to tap everyone. And Chepo's just going on, you know, the overpowered Rosa. And that's our strap with the comps for this game. Yeah, so you'll see this week they played it very passive. Uh, they basically for a start, and they're just, like, camping out right now. So we don't want to over extend because we're already down one star and you know there's a minute and a half we don't need to force anything right now if they want to play like this so we're just kind of feeling them out right exactly and at this point we also didn't know exactly where shadow was i mean i had a hunch that he was in that grass but you know og checked a bunch of times jack checked a bunch of times and we thought he wasn't there so we started to get a little bit aggressive luckily jack later on did expose himself a little bit but basically right here you can just see it's just myself og and jack kind of just chipping our super just chipping to get our super trying to get more aggressive yeah, so we're definitely like banking on a gene pull or just 
At this point, they're all kind of backed up, which is exactly where we want them because they have nowhere to go as long as we like play it right. So we are just waiting on that super and you know, we're being really patient. We have 50 seconds left and um, this is the only downside if you're gonna play really passive, you get backed up pretty easily. Right, exactly. So just like OG said, they're exactly where we want them. And by this point, I was able to get my super. Now, obviously, Rosa is an easy pull, but you don't want to be pulling a Rosa. I'm not sure exactly what Portal was going for with that pull. But uh, yeah, he missed that one over there. Now you can see OG's having an exchange over there with Tyrant Star. And right over there, since he got tapped, was a little bit of an opening for me. So I was able to get the pull on Tyrant and get that kill. Yeah, so Jax like, kind of trapped up there. He just manages to get his super. Um, you can see Shadow and Portal are both so weak. They're like hesitant to push up because they're that weak, but there's like 10 seconds left, so we're in a really good spot right now. Exactly, we're just going back. Uh, we don't want to go too back into our spawns just because that's going to trap us, so we kind of just chilled in that middle grass for a second, get a, got a shot or two off. Unfortunately for them, Portal pulled the Rosa, so they weren't able to get the kill, and that's going to end the game with only one kill the entire time. Yeah, um, that's competitive bounty sometimes if they want to play all passive, but we did manage to sweep bounty, so sets are one nothing for us right now. Alright, so next up we have gem grab, and it is the same maps as last week, so we are on Undermine, and we're going with the traditional comp that we used last week. Tara's obviously really good when she gets her pull, and we're tripling up a lane this time, Just switching it up from the double up. Um, but you can see that kind of forfeits the right side of the map, but we have complete control at the left side, and I'm just trying to build up my super at this point. Right, so we definitely want to change up the strat since it's the same map every time and we don't want to become too predictable. So Jack was able to take out Shadow over there, and you can see we kind of gained position. Even though Portal does have more gems than we do, we are able to hold that middle position for now. Yeah, so I got the Carl on me, which is, again, like a tough matchup until I get super. Um, and, you know, Jack's just doing his thing, Rosa v. Rosa, what more can you ask for from competitive gameplay? Um, Bobby does take out Portal there, really good pull, and Jack's just there to clean up. Exactly. Now, Jack is a little bit trapped at this point, although he was able to do a good amount of damage. So, although he died, we were able to sustain kind of a little bit of control. And although OG did get pulled over there, he did have a good pull and basically take away the usefulness of Portal's pull because he got he went down to almost zero health. Yeah, unfortunately, Tyrant was there to just tap me once, otherwise I would have taken the out. But you can see Jack doing work, just going on Tyrant, so you know he has that matchup. And Shadow's just hanging out, but he's not really like posing much of a threat there unless he gets like behind us, which he does go for here. So Jack definitely needs to rotate here and just focus on the rest. Right, so at this point of the game, I'm on the bottom of the screen, is there, and there's really not much I can do until Chepo moves Shadow from there. Even if he does lose a fight, he is going to move him. And until he does do so, there's literally nowhere I can go. So you can see Chepo's going to engage onto Shadow, and from there I was able to kind of go up and start helping him out, and we're able to take control of the map. Yeah, once that Rose is gone, there's like not really a threat. Besides a Jack standing in Bobby, Bobby does get a really nice pull there, and you know, we're looking pretty good right now. Jack has it with nine gems and is super up, so it's looking pretty good for us at this point. Right, we're able to take out the Rosa, and the only other real threat would be a gene pull, so I waited patiently for Portal to come. I was able to pull him, and then OG's just able to finish it off with getting that little Tara suck on Tyrant Star. Okay, so here we go into the second gem grab game, and we're gonna be going with the most meta comp possible. We're going to be going with Carl, Jean, and Rosa. So you can see they're also running the same thing. Sorry, no. They're running a Tara instead of the Carl. Uh, it's basically a flop of what we had the last map. I guess they liked the Tara and we liked them playing the Carl, so we kind of transitioned and changed it over there. But we were able to take out Shadow at the start, and you can see OG really quickly was able to gain position on Tyrant Star, and we just have good position from here on. Yeah, so that's definitely why we chose the Carl, just because one-on-one -on -one he can like destroy the Tara. They have the Tara just because of the super um, possibilities. And you can see, unfortunately, Bobby misses his pull just a little out of range. Jack going crazy on the Tara though. Um, we definitely need to watch the Shadow Jutsu on the jump pad though, because that's a huge threat when our Rose is up that high. Right, so basically all I was able to do was stand back until Jack was able to get Shadow out of those bushes and I was able to move up a little. You can see again, OG has Tyrant very low, but there's so many rocks and walls on this map that OG's base, or Tyrant's basically able to heal up without a problem. Yeah, unfortunately, Bobby does get pulled there. Jack's there to clean up the... Um, but we're in a bit of an awkward situation here. Um, I don't know what I was going for with this all. I should have just left. I went back for some damage or whatever, and I do get taken out. 
Yeah, so over here I just pulled Tyrant Star because he was a really easy pull and we just needed a kill to regain possession. So I was able to kill him and get my super back at this point. And from here on, it's kind of a three on two, but we weren't able to do much because Portal did go out of range and Shadow did push up really aggressively. Yeah, so it's pretty even, seven to six. Uh, mids, kind of whoever gets there. And you'll see Tyrant has his super, so I need to play more passive now because I can be taken out like very easily by that super. Um, Shadow's getting all up in our end. Jack's gonna take him out pretty good though. And he's actually going on to Bobby. So you'll see Tyrant tried pulling me. I managed to take him out. Um, and Shadow does, he's alive with like 1,000 1, HP and Bobby manages to take him out, but they still have countdown. Right, so at this point, obviously Jack is a really huge threat as he has a super and he's a Rosa. I don't know why Tar Tyrant doesn't pull him, but instead he pulls OG for some reason. Jack was able to take him out, but unfortunately there was nothing I, we could do at this point. I could have pulled the Rosa, but obviously that wouldn't have worked out for us as there's just not enough DPS to be able to kill her. Yeah, and she'll just get her super, so it's best to just leave the Rosa alone. Jack gets up there because the only threat to her. Um, Tyrant does pull him, and Bobby goes for a pull, but it's kind of like too little too late at this point. So, unfortunately for us, we do lose the second game of gym. Alright, so the third and final game of gem grab. We are back on Death Cap Cave. Um, you see we have mirror comps again this time, same comps that we used last week, no surprise here. Same matchups too, except this time Squashy's not disconnecting every two seconds. So, um, you'll see Portal does go for the first two gems, but that does give up like a lot of damage for Bobby Super, and you'll see everyone else kind of just feeling each other out. Shadow's in the bush there, good positioning by him, and me and Tyrant are just kind of like, you know, feeling each other out. Right, exactly. So since all of our brawlers are just like super, super broken, it's just basically who can get their super first. Unfortunately, I got a little bit too aggressive trying to help out Jack with Shadow, and he was able to kill me. But now I have my super, and you can see Portal and Tyrant are moving way back and just not risking themselves getting pulled. Yeah, so Portal does miss the pull on me, and you'll see Tyrant's like out poking me a little bit. I have to play more pass. Well, there so now that i know it's gone you'll see me like start making my way up the map a little bit and you know we have like pretty good mid control right now right and you can see that we it's very obvious that where tyrant and portal are although they are in the grass so i'm not going to be using my pull yet og is doing a good job on tyrant and originally i thought i was going to pull tyrant at that point but since og was doing such a good job i decided not to you see also og was able to go down there and get an easy kill on tyrant that i stole but still OG did a really good job, and at this point we have eight gems to their or seven gems to their four, so it's looking pretty good. Yeah, Jack's also just like causing causing havoc up there. Um, I think Tyrant disconnects here at this point, and I'm not sure if he reconnects or if he's a bot, but um, it looks like he reconnected just how he's playing. But yeah, eight gems to four, uh, two gems in the middle. We do pull Tyrant Star there, and we managed to take him out. Right, so at this point Portal's gonna try and get the pull, and this is the big mistake of the game. He misses me and he actually ends up pulling Jack. And obviously, as you guys know, if you guys are gonna pull a Rose, that's not gonna work out. So you can see Jack's moving up. Uh, he's gonna be able to take out Portal along with a little bit of help from me and OG, and at this point we're just retreating and moving back. Yeah, so Bobby gets a nice pull on Portal, just the nail in the coffin. But definitely the big mistake there was pulling Jack. Um, you never want to pull a Rosa, unless it's like a really like special circumstance. But do not gene pull Rosas, guys. All right, so here we go into the start of the heist set. So we're up 2-0 right now in the sets. So obviously, you only need three to win, so it's looking good for us. Last week, we had a Rico instead of a Barley, and we noticed that they were using the exact same comps that they were last week. They weren't really making any adjustments, so it was really obvious to us that if we just switched to a Barley, we would have a much easier time, and that's what we did for our comp. Yeah, because we didn't want to use Rico because it is like a little skilled, and we just figured we'd like outplay them at their own. So you can see Jack's doing a really good job just controlling it. I'm kind of pushing up on my side here. Like, we're all like winning our fight so far. I don't think I should have gone up that high because if Shadow kept pushing me, he could have killed me. But for whatever reason, he decides not to. And you can see Jack's just doing work on the safe now. Bobby's up there just hammering it too. And Shadow did manage to sneak into our side though. So I'm like trying to deal with him. Right, so he did do a ton of damage. Although on this map, the hardest thing in the world to deal with is that is that Rosa in those bushes. So OG's doing a great job at not feeding the Rosa. And you can see we're doing a good job here of just trying to clear it out and forcing it out of the grass and not allowing it to do much damage. 
Yeah, so we get a nice pinch on the Rosa here and Jack's just been up there like hammering the safe the entire time. Uh, we do have mid control and you can see Jack's like outplaying his matchup like really hard here. Right, and you know, I'm just advancing on the right side. We see OG as super, I have super, so I'm gonna go in and take out Portal. And OG's just gonna spin in as, long with, as well with Jack in the background. We're just gonna start hammering the safe at this point. Yeah, so at this point, you can see Jack's doing his trademark spin, and it's pretty much GG, so we definitely dominated that game. Okay, so this is it, guys. If we manage to win this one, we got our sweep and, like, straight redemption. So I knew they were going to go double tank. Um, even though the Carls are really hard for Spike, I thought it was worth it to go uh, Spike just to deal with the Rosa and the Primo a lot better and you can see it's like already like working out like really well for us All right, so you guys know just how dangerous OG is on that spike and how good Chepo is on that barley So we really are playing the brawlers we're super comfortable with as well as we have a Rosa Just anyone can pick up a Rosa and dominate so we are looking really really good with our comp and we're feeling very comfortable with it Yeah, so Jack gets some early safe damage and from this point out as long as the crawl me too much I can literally just back in their base see Bobby's doing a Rosa and then I'm just kind of being annoying to them like chipping them down chipping the safe when I'm not hitting them and getting those supers on the safe so Bobby can't be bothered there right so at this point I'm basically hitting the safe as well as hitting portal and shadow and this is just causing a bunch of issues for them they aren't really to do uh, able to take me out in any way and you can see Jack just spinning and OG taking out <laughs> the safe and that's gonna be a super super quick win for us on heist all right, guys, and that's going to wrap it up for today. So remember, at the start of the video, what I said, make sure to follow me on everything down below so you can, so you guys can watch us live, you know, react in the chat. The chat was definitely super, super hype over these finals. It, it got actually a little bit heated in chat between two organizations or Nova and a bunch of other people. Uh, we don't want to see any of that toxicity, so definitely don't come in if you're trying to argue with people. But, you know, if you're just trying to chill, spectate, and have a good time, definitely follow me on the social medias down below so you guys can join and stay up to date. You know, myself, OG, a lot of the pros are there. We're talking to people, so obviously if you want to be a part of the pro scene and want to be able to talk to us, definitely check that out. But that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the dual VC with OG. I know you guys were asking for it after the last one we did, so we decided to do it again. That's going to be it for today. So you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. You guys already know what to do, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.